Welcome to the Contrail product demo series. In this demo, we're showcasing how Contrail significantly enhances the scalability of OpenStack Neutron for cloud networking. The default OpenStack Neutron plugin can only scale to about 350 servers or compute nodes. Security groups turn out to actually be a bottleneck to Neutron scaling, but even with the default security group disabled, Neutron can only scale to about 170 instances per compute node. Powered with an elegant scale-out design, Contrail networking can significantly bump up the scaling number to more than three times the default and easily support over 1,000 compute nodes with security group configurations. In the demo environment, we're running more than 5,000 virtual instances spread out in about 260 virtual networks. To simulate the large number of compute nodes in this scaling demo, we built the underlay with 101 actual compute nodes, which are managed through one bare metal OpenStack node and three Contrail control nodes that include configuration, control, and analytics components. Each of the compute nodes is connected through XMPP to two Contrail control nodes for redundancy and high availability. So there's actually 202 XMPP sessions in total distributed to the three Contrail control nodes. On top of the underlay, we bring up either 19 or 5 overlay compute nodes on each of the underlay compute nodes, and the result is 1,000 compute nodes total simulated. Similarly, this overlay environment is managed by one bare metal OpenStack node and three bare metal Contrail controller nodes. For the 1,000 compute nodes or V routers as indicated in the user interface, there are 2,000 XMPP sessions in total distributed to the three Contrail control nodes. Each control node is connected to about 700 V routers. I have 55 projects created in this environment, and each of them has five to six virtual networks, and each network has about 20 to 30 virtual machines, resulting in a total of 5,394 instances. Our demo shows that Contrail networking can scale OpenStack Neutron to a much larger number of compute nodes and virtual instances and handle any configuration or control changes correctly and with fast convergence time. Let's randomly pick one of the 55 projects to dig into that were constructed out of a similar fashion. It has five virtual networks, VN0 through VN4, and they're connected through a Neutron router. Each one of these virtual networks has about 60 to 80 virtual instances, and in total, there are 320 instances in this project. All instances are associated with the default security group, which allows all ingress traffic, but can only send to the five virtual networks we have on the egress side. Now let's randomly choose two different virtual machines and initiate Enter virtual network traffic. And let's verify that Contrail handles configuration changes in the default security group properly at scale. One instance is in VN1 with IP address 192.168.1.21, where I start pinging another instance in VN2 with IP address 192.168.2.21. The other instance is also in VN1 with IP address 192.168.1.16, where I start pinging another instance in VN3 with IP address 192.168.3.16. Then, on the fly, let's change the security group configuration and remove the rule that allows egress traffic to VN2. The result should be that any traffic to VN2 will be dropped. As expected, the ping to 192.168.2.21 in VN2 has stopped, but the ping to 192.168.3.16 still goes on. 
When we go back to the security group settings and add the deleted rule back to allow egress traffic to VN2 with the subnet 192.168.2 slash 24, we can immediately see that the ping to VN2 has resumed and the ping to VN3 is not affected at all. This demo shows that the information passed down to Contrail from Neutron is propagated to all compute nodes within a very short convergence time. In addition, Contrail is intelligent enough to isolate the configuration change to affect the minimal number of flows. The security group rule change only affected those flows matching the changed rule and other flows will not be affected. This is one reason why Contrail can scale much better than the default Neutron plugin. Let's use Contrail Analytics to show how the Contrail system behaves at large scale. First, we inspect the underlay, the virtual network called IP Fabric, where we spawned the 1000 compute node virtual machines. This is all the traffic that's going through this virtual network, and most of the traffic is the OpenStack IPC and Contrail protocol traffic between the 1000 compute nodes and their control nodes. Because the controller nodes are running on bare metal, this traffic only represents the IPC between the controller and compute nodes. It's only around 1.9 Mbps to make the entire system work. Next, let's inspect the traffic distribution by application type. In the port distribution view, we take a look at destination ports only and ignore the higher range of unfamiliar ports. The port number range under 10,000 represents the ones we really care about. The size of the bubble is proportional to the number of connections in those ports. Higher bubbles with respect to the y-axis represent higher bandwidth consumption. This big bubble at the bottom left corner represents DNS traffic to port 53 with low bandwidth and a large number of connections. The bubble that represents the highest bandwidth consumption here is within port range 7936 to 8191. By clicking on the bubble we reveal the next level of detail. Port number 8093 is used by the Contrail Analytics Engine and for the 1000 compute nodes and more than 5000 virtual instances, it's consuming a mere 119 Mbps of bandwidth. The next bubble represents traffic to port 5672. This is the RabbitMQ traffic between all the compute nodes and the various OpenStack components. The two lower bubbles are destined to port 5269, which is the XMPP traffic between Contrail controller nodes and compute nodes, and port 5998, which is the discovery service traffic within the Contrail system. They only consume 800 kbps and 300 kbps at the scale of 1000 compute nodes. So that's very minimal. Contrail's highly scalable because it's so lightweight, imposing only minimal overhead to the system. In this case, for example, Contrail only generates a fraction of the amount of traffic that RabbitMQ generates. All right, that concludes the Contrail demo for scaling OpenStack Neutron cloud networking. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.